On December 3rd, 1976, Bob Marley was in the middle of preparing for this peace concert, the One Love Peace Concert. And the reason behind it was Jamaica at that time was going through a lot of political turmoil, a lot of violence, um, political tribalism. And Marley even then was looked upon as a sort of peacemaker. In fact, he was pretty much the, the one force in the country that both sides, every side could agree on. And he was convinced to do this peace concert to sort of ease political tensions in Kingston. But the two nights before the concert, a bunch of unknown assailants, at least unknown at the time, uh, burst into his house, guns blazing, and tried to kill him and his family and everybody in the band. And they shot him in the chest. In fact, if he was inhaling instead of exhaling, he would have been killed. He would, would have gone through his heart, the bullet. Um, his wife got shot in the head. His manager got several bullets in the abdomen, and some of the band members got sh um, shot. But everybody survived. And uh, he went on to do the concert two days later. In fact, if you, if you watch the footage, Rita Marley is on stage singing in her hospital, hospital gown. So that's how, you know, how close to the event it was. But after the concert, Marley kind of disappeared. He vanished to the Bahamas. And the men who tried to kill him also vanished in one way or another. Um, and I've always been fascinated by that mystery of these people who committed probably the most um, blatant and violent and one of the most shocking events in Jamaica's history and what happened to them, because they've turned into this brief footnote. And part of the reason for writing A Brief History of Seven Killings was trying to imagine what happened to these men, why they have vanished from history, why commit something like that as well, because if there was an unwritten rule in Jamaica, it was nobody touches a tough gun, which is what we call Bob Marley. and. Um, you know, I was also interested in, in the forces that led to such a thing, but also what happened afterwards. And in writing a story about these eight men, there were eight killers, even though the story is brief history of seven killings, it almost without knowing turns into a bigger story about Jamaica at the time, about 1976 in general, and the consequences of, of that year, how the fallout from 1976 took us all the way into 1991. So the novel almost ac accidentally ends up being a bigger work, largely because by trying to capture an event that happened so briefly, it was barely five minutes that something so instantaneous, something so short, and something cut so short could have reverberations that go on through dozens of people and decades, really, to something that is actually, in a lot of ways, still unresolved. And uh, the novel is not trying to answer that or trying to solve a mystery, just sort of render these stories and render um, all these sort of interlocking unanswered questions that this event um, gave rise to.